Pisces! Welcome to the first half of December love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing good. Finally got to your reading. You guys are the first sign of the day. Pisces, uh, let's just dive right into the meditative session. For those who don't understand how energy works, um, or how tarot readings work, or how to interpret the information I'm giving you, there's a little good little, there's a good little crash course linked below called how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. I always do a meditative session first, then I go into the pre-shuffle and then I go into the tarot card reading. Okay. <clears throat> Pisces, you're crossing the threshold. You're crossing the threshold. Um, either from night to day, day to night, spring to summer. I like whatever you're doing, you're, you're transitioning here. Okay. But it seems like it, it doesn't feel smooth. It's kind of like, here's white, here's black. And it's like the tiny little line in the middle. You're crossing that. Like it feels very abrupt. It feels very fast. It feels very quick. Um, and this, and it, it could just make you feel some kind of way Pisces, but I do feel like it is good for you. I do feel like it's in your best benefit. Now here's what's going to make you laugh. Well, maybe just smile. They showed me a platypus. <laughs> They're very, they're very interesting looking animals, but I was like, really? A platypus? Like, I don't think I've ever actually seen one with my own eyeballs in real life. I mean, I've seen them on like Animal Planet because I'm such a nerd. I was always a nerd growing up. Uh, all this Gemini energy is really fucking with my, my uh, speech. <laughs> It kind of feels almost like a little mini Mercury retrograde, doesn't it? It kind of feels that way. Anyway, uh, Pisces. Um, platypus energy. I don't know what that means as far as like spirituality is concerned, but just intuitively, I feel like it's just really about being comfortable alone. I feel, I think plat platypuses such who came up with the name by the way for that animal like that that's actually a better a, a better uh, piece of information who named the platypus does it, it just sound like platypus i just i don't know it almost sounds a little nasty actually <laughs> anyway um i feel like that animal does spend a lot of time alone a lot of time alone it is um I can't, oh you know i wonder if it's technically an amphibian no it can't be an amphibian uh, that, that animal has to be a very interesting classification because it does spend a lot of time in water. It's mostly in water. And, but I also feel like it does spend some time on land when it needs to, but mostly in the water. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm nerding out and I'm being in Gemini right now because all this Gemini energy, it's making me ADD. Um, learning to spend time alone and being comfortable with that, and, but particularly in your emotions, it feels like you're going solo, Pisces, is kind of how it feels. And it doesn't mean that you're ending a relationship. It could just mean that you're also just spending more time alone. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, getting more in touch with yourself, getting back in touch with your higher self, your inner voice. I feel like you spent some time around a person or many people. It could be a social circle that you're breaking away from. That's really left you with a lot of confusion. I feel like they've really kind of messed with your energy a little bit, Pisces. Um, and you're just like, like, I, like, you're, like, you need to recalibrate, you know, you need to recalibrate or something. Um, I did get a little bit of a heavier message though, which I thought was, um, mm, I didn't like it. <laughs> I guess the best way I didn't like it. I just, I, I didn't like it. Uh, you're putting down the burden of love. Now, love is great. Love is beautiful. Uh, it is. It's like one of the most amazing things about being uh, in the 3D and like having one of these vessels, right? Um, but you're putting the burden down. Uh, you've either been in a really funky relationship situation or people have taken advantage of you. I feel like it's more the latter. <clears> the <throat> people have taken advantage of you and you kind of need to love on yourself a little bit for a while. Um, and that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's okay, especially with this thre crossing the threshold energy. You're coming into something new or a new cycle in your life or a new understanding, a new something, a new something, but it feels big. It doesn't feel small. It doesn't feel like you just bought a new shirt or like, you know, you're trying out a new diet. It feels bigger than that. It definitely feels bigger than that. Um, but I feel like you're feeling a little, um, like, yeah, like kind of energetically messed with. I don't know another way to say that. Like energetically tapped, energetically vamped. Like someone sucked out your energy a little bit or been sucking on your energy for a little while um, or confused. Some of you, yeah, some of you, there's like an energy of confusion. Oh, oh, Pisces. I'm just getting enmeshment with that. Some of you might have been enmeshed with someone's energy and you might not have realized it until now. And then this breaking away or crossing, I really want to say crossing the threshold. It might be making you realize that like, oh, shit. Like, let me get back in touch with me. Okay, yes, this is who I am. 
and this is what I feel, and this is what I think, and this is what I need. You're just needing some you time, okay? You're needing some you time. You need to recalibrate. You need to be the platypus. <laughs> Such a funny word. <laughs> anyway, uh, Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle here, okay? <clears throat> Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Earth, and Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces. Regarding love for the first half of December, I'm seeing birds. Seagulls, specifically. Oh, I know there's a meaning there. Seagulls. They're showing me seagulls. I think you're really needing to be by the water, Pisces. You, you, need, you need some water, okay? <laughs> you, you need to be with your element right now. You really need to be with your element. Take baths if you can't get to a body of water. I mean, a lot of people aren't that far from a lake. Uh, even if you're in the desert, like a lake shouldn't be, you know, eight hours away or anything like that. Um, yeah, you, you you need water. You need water and not just a shower. Like You need to be in a bath, go to a hot springs, a lake, a river. Ocean would be best. Ocean would definitely be best if you can, if you can. But you, you need some water. Even just listening to it, like hearing it, hearing it or watching videos of water would, would actually really help you a lot, Pisces. You, you need your element right now. Oh, some of you, some of you, this is a jarring realization. Others, you've known that you've had to cross the threshold for a while, but some of you, it's kind of like you were pushed into it unexpectedly. And it's like, okay, I guess I have to do this. I guess I have to have this separation. Some of you, some of you, it's a separation from a person. It is. Some of you, it is. Some of you, it is. I really have to reiterate that. Um, and those in that boat, there's a group of you where it's been a long time. Uh, some of you, it's just like a friend or a coworker, which is interesting. That I, yeah, some of you, it's just a friend or a coworker. Please don't forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, conserve your energy. They're actually showing me a cactus, um, which really interesting plants, but I won't go there. Um, they're really great at conserving water. They're really great at conserving water. They're, you know, desert plants, uh, cons which water is your element. Like I was just saying, conserve your energy right now. Um, you know, just, just take a little vacay, Pisces. Just kind of go on your own a little bit. Take a few days. Don't invite anybody. Shut your phone off. Make sure there's a water source. <laughs> uh, and just recharge. I feel like you really need that right now, okay? Pleasing forward any messages of we don't have any cards out yet. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Bulldog, okay. Maybe some of you have a bulldog. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a dog, you're considering a bulldog. You might end up with a bulldog. That's interesting that they showed me that. Don't get me started on dog breeds. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Ooh, judgment. Oh, scorpionic energy. Also fire. It always reminds, you know, it's funny because I wanted to say Capricorn, but I know it's not associated with Capricorn. But what have I been saying for so long? We're in judgment day energy. Yeah, there's some kind of decisions that need to be made. To balance out some some energy here um, and some karma to resolve it could be a possible reconciliation I don't feel that way I really feel like you're pulling away uh, from someone or or many people I feel like it's people I do feel like it's people I don't feel like you're moving I, I feel like it's people or a person you're cro yeah you're crossing the threshold you're crossing the threshold some of you could be going through an ascension <laughs> like I'm actually seeing that like skeleton bird and I was like, oh, I was getting birds. Why is that not focusing? Hold on a second. Why is that not focusing? Yeah, I'm just looking at that. It's like, I don't know, almost as like a, how do I say that? Oh, I don't know why I was so drawn to that. That's weird. Um, this feels galactic. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. I'm getting so stuck at that. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry, bring me back. Oh, God damn it. Come on, guy. Come on now. Come on. Um, definitely feels like a Mercury retrograde energy. So I feel like, you know, you're you're crossing the threshold. 
from lower to upper, from lower to upper. There's something that's changing about you, Pisces. And the people around you or the person that you're leaving behind just can't keep up. Please move forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please move forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces. Oh my, we've got the lovers. Gemini energy. Now... If I wasn't feeling what I was feeling, what I'm feeling right now, I would definitely say this is a reconciliation of sorts. It could be that whatever pulling away you have to do is to lead you to a, a spiritually guided connection, to a spiritually guided connection here. It's what's best. I literally, I, they literally just said that to me. It's what's best. 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 I'm like, they keep saying it over and over and over again. I'm sorry, guys. They keep saying it over and over again. Yeah, you know, whatever this pulling away is, it's in your best interest. It's the right thing. You're being spiritually guided to do so. It is the right thing. It's what's best. For some of you, this could be leading you, like I said, to a divinely guided connection here. Something that feels really intense, by the way. Really, really freaking intense for some, even like some galactic stuff is going on there. Won't get into that. That's advanced for this reading. <laughs> um, lovers can also just indicate a decision. And like I said, like you're crossing that threshold and you're doing it voluntarily. Please bring forward any messages of truthling and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Ooh, yep. Justice, Libra energy. It's the right thing. It's what's it's what's best. It's what's best. I can't stop saying that. It's what it's what's best. You have all major arcana here, by the way. This is major, Pisces. Three really heavy hitting ma uh, major arcana. Oh, judgment flipped over. Um, it, th this is significant. This is a significant threshold for you, for those who resonate with this. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Yeah, for some of you, it's guiding you to a really balanced, healthy uh, connection here. Again, uh, spiritually guided, divinely guided. Let's see here. Oh, five of wands in reverse with the two of cups. And then we've got the fool. Yeah, God, Pisces, it really feels like you're leaving someone and walking right into someone else. <laughs> ah, I feel like I've gotten this for someone recently, but that's how this feels. Like getting out of anything that was really conflicting to you. I feel like with a soulmate energy and then as the fool, you're taking a chance away from that and walking right into this. Going from the two of cups to the lovers. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade of a connection, okay? But some of you, it is about leaving a group of people and that's putting you on your right path and you will be meeting um, someone that you're divinely guided to meet, okay? In a very intense, romantic way. All right, Pisces, now let's get into your reading 13 minutes in. Anyway, okay, guys. So for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. They are not for everybody. They can't be for everybody. So if it's not your message or it's not your story, don't need to throw hate or shade. Just support people who, you know, resonate with this. Um, I do get multiple messages for different groups of people. So hang in there. You can find something for you. It is energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. So messages can be reversed or vice versa, or it could pertain to your family, your friends, your coworkers, your lovers, your own self growth, your health, all, all of that jazz, all that jazz because of the spectrum of emotions of love. Okay. Uh, also, guys, time is not linear either. So even though so this is for the first half of December, whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. People have told me my readings resonate for them about a month out. Obviously, that's not for everybody. Just saying that maybe that will help you a little bit along the way. If they're not resonating with me or my energy, there are a lot of great readers here on YouTube. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, let's get started. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of December? Okay. Oh, some guys are asking about the deck. Uh, Santa Muerte. I have all the decks linked below for anybody who would like them for yourselves. Any messages for Pisces for the first half of December for love? Oh, oh, that's interesting. Ten of Pentacles. It, it came out like this, though. It, it wanted to do this, so then it wanted to do that, and it ended up sideways. So I'm going to keep it sideways. But Ten of Pentacles is on the board. 
your legacy, your legacy, your long-term stability, a long-term uh, oh, home, home, that's interesting, home, settlement. <laughs> um, some of you could be getting divorced. I, I feel like this is a head for you, though. Oh, this is weird. I feel like this is a head for you, though, and I feel like it's a legacy. There's a home involved in this. It's like where you're going to spend the next like 10, 20 years or how. Interesting. Where or how and for some both. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to leave that sideways, though. It's dependent on you crossing this thresh threshold. It's dependent on you crossing this threshold. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? If you're going through a divorce or you're like going to court for something, there's like splitting of assets or you're, for, you're afraid you're going to lose your money. Even if you do, you're going to recoup it back. They were my words. So I didn't, I couldn't find the tank top I wanted to wear. This one's very flimsy. Okay. Any messages for Pisces? Ew. Lordy. Sun in reverse. Leo, two of swords in reverse, moon in Li Libra, almost a Leo again. So I'm going to have a strong Leo placement. And then we have the six of swords in reverse. Having a really hard time with making a decision that you know needs to be made. So why the sun's in reverse, because it's like, you know, but you're not going for it. I, I, Pisces, I really feel, I almost called you Virgo. Pisces, I really feel like whatever threshold you're, you're crossing into, the sun is on the other end. But because you're you're really like God, I don't know if, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. This seems really hard. This seems really quick. This seems really abrupt. I don't know if I can do it. Um, you're not having the sun right now. It's tangible. It's there. It's there for the taking. But you have to you have to do it. You got to go for it. And then once you do, I think you're gonna get the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this is hanging in the balance. It's like if you want it, you got to make those hard decisions. Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of December? All right, so you got two. Jesus. Ooh, the hanged man, Pisces. That's that, that is your energy with the five of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. You don't like where you are. You know you have to get away from where you are or get away from a person or a group of people that you're around. I feel like it's people-centered. I feel like the issue is people or a person uh, that's been dragging you down. Dragging you down, sucking the life out of you, sucking the energy out of you, making you confused, really taking you off your path or really stalling you, especially with this hangman energy, really stalling you. You know you have to make this choice to leave that person or those people behind. The sun's on the other end. You just have to cross the threshold and your legacy... I don't know what to do this because I guess that is about a butterfly. Uh, your legacy, your long-term stability, security, even a home, a, a place to settle down, feel really stable and comfortable is hanging in the balance. Overall energy, the lovers, Gemini energy. What's underneath that, which is interesting, the seven of swords. I feel a lot of you have this ahead of you with the sun and the ten of pentacles, but it's being sabotaged because you're not crossing, crossing, crossing the threshold. You just got to do it, Pisces. You just got to do it. So considering how the cards came out, I'm more curious about this energy first to go over because this is where you're at right now. Like, okay, I know I have to cross a threshold. I know I have to make a decision here. Stall, 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 stall. Uh, let's look at the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Let me use Rider Wait for this one. Can I have a Five of Pentacles in reverse? I'm getting a download and I'm like, I'm a little disturbed by it. Um, Pisces, for those of you who are in like committed loving relationships, like if you're not just leaving a group of people behind, if you're like, you're leaving behind like a romantic interest or something, there's something about getting caught. Hmm. There's something about getting caught. Talk about five of pentacles in reverse. Talk about five of pentacles in reverse. There's going to be a phone involved. Talking about five of pentacles. Or for some it's a phone, others it's a computer. 
it's not anything like it's not like catching someone like physically like having sex with somebody no it's not anything crazy like that it's like something in the phone or on the computer tell me about five of pentacles in reverse hey no judgment from me i'm just the messenger i just heard you because some of you guys get upset i'm just the messenger tell me about five of pentacles in reverse for pisces for the first half of december Five of five of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to cross that threshold. Wow, you got to cross that threshold. Yeah, it, hermit in reverse, Virgo with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Um, you have to cross the threshold by by basically not putting in any en Jesus, not putting any energy into what you've been putting energy into over here crossing that threshold and start putting energy over here. You're realizing that it's like shit. I got to stop putting so much freaking effort into this person, these people. It's not serving me. I know that's my ticket out. That's my ticket out. I just have to stop. Some of you might have that light bulb moment like, oh, that's literally all it takes. I just have to stop. <laughs> I just have to stop putting myself in that position. I just have to stop dealing with this person. I just have to stop. Sometimes it is just that easy. Five about five of pentacles in reverse for Pisces. I just heard Taurus. So I have five of pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Yep. Wow. Oh boy. Time so out five of pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Jesus. Lovers is everywhere. Now we have the Page of Pentacles with the Emperor in reverse. Page of Pentacles is a card of um reflection here. Uh, with the emperor in reverse. I feel like this is an energy you're dealing with. It could be a female. It doesn't have to be a male. And of course, it can be vice versa. And it's control. It's something about control. Yeah, kind of reflecting and realizing, shit, there's some control issues here. <laughs> you're also realizing that. Like, I just have to stop. But I think you guys have been realizing, shit, I, I haven't felt like I could. This could be a father figure or a boss, by the way, if this is like all work related. Um or like a coworker, you know, if you like have a business together. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, you're reflecting on this and you're just like, shit, it really is that easy to just stop or just stop talking to these people, this person, whoever, Emperor is representing those energies of its multiple people. But I I felt like I, I couldn't or I haven't been able to because they're controlling or they're possessive or there's some kind of energetic like tie here that is like almost feels like you can't like unchain yourself. Actually, I just got chain that you can't unchain yourself, but that's why you feel like it's hard to cross the threshold. You can do it. You can do it. It's easier than it looks. It's easier than it looks and it's easier than it feels. It's just because of this energetic chaining that I'm getting here uh that you feel like you can't that's the only that's really the only reason overall energy <laughs> yeah the freaking lovers <laughs> again gemini energy yeah some of you this is what's waiting for you on the other side for some of you others it's just about making that 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 right decision okay a lot of gemini energy here and yeah it is woman and gemini right um some of you have a divinely guided connection with the sun and ten of pentacles on the other side and all you have to do is literally make the choice. That's literally just it. You just have to make the choice and make that step across the threshold. Um, others, it's just about making that balanced decision to do it. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the two of swords. See if we can get more information on this decision. Might be pretty clear cut, but I'm kind of curious. We're going to use Gilded and then we're going to look at the Ten of Pentacles that's hanging in the balance. I don't know. I don't want to keep doing that. Okay. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. You know, and I love that the two of swords in this deck is scissors. I love that. I love that. Especially, like, I guess I felt compelled to pull this for a uh, deck for a reason. Because it is an unchaining that you have to cut. You have to cut like literally you have to just cut it and then just decide that you're going to do that and just stick to it that's all it takes that's literally all it takes it looks and feels way more difficult than it actually is and maybe for some of you it's like it's a deep and emotional thing and i get that and i totally get that but for some of you it's just it's a control thing and for some maybe even control over money or finances especially if this is business related so i got two of swords in reverse too many Talk about two of swords in reverse. 
I have two of swords in reverse for Pisces for the first half of December. So I have two of swords in reverse for Pisces for the first half of December regarding love. Mm-hmm. Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Strength card, Leo. Your Ten of Pentacles is hanging in the balance, okay? You have to take control of the situation, Strength card, to, to, to get it and keep it, okay? For some of you, like I said, you might be losing money in some kind of legal issue or some kind of, like, settlement or divorce or splitting of assets or even, like, you know, if it's a business relationship and, like, splitting that, right? Um, you will recoup that. You'll recoup what you lost, like, so don't worry about that. But you really got to take control here, Pisces. You really got to take control here. And again, someone could be... Could have been, well. Wow, I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, slow it down. Someone could also be using money to control you. Okay, definitely. And then when I pulled these, Jesus. The Hierophant, Taurian energy, Seven of Swords in reverse, uh, Aquarian, and then Five of Pence, Taurian energy. Someone might be trying to actually steal your money. Pisces. Wow. Someone might actually be trying to steal your money. It's like, it's so staring me in the face, like literally controlling your finances. They're very controlling, sabotaging, five of pentacles, money loss. Your 10 of pentacles is hanging in the balance. Pisces, if that's the case, you you already kind of know deep down, Jesus, what's up with this tank top? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if that's the case, you already know. Your intuition's already telling you. But for whatever reason, you are so hooked into this person you're so hooked like energetically it's like you just gotta cut it you just gotta cut it for some of you like i said this is a boss it's not just like a romantic interest but for some of you it is some of you it definitely is i feel like they've already gone away with stuff gotten away with stuff oh oh i don't want to pick it up here um yeah, especially if it's like business related or work related, it's like numbers haven't added up or they've had some kind of excuse for some things like, like, oh, I checked this and I, you know, I thought there'd be like, I don't know, a couple thousand more or a couple hundred more, whatever. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, da, 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 or but you know, whatever. And like some like kind of bullshit vague excuse that might be a clue for someone. That definitely might be a clue for someone. Yeah, there's there's some money shit going on here. I don't like that. Hold on a second. Mm. okay yeah I really don't like that I don't like that at all someone has their own self-interest here definitely has their own self-interest here male or female it doesn't matter it's an emperor in reverse that's someone who is controlling and selfish and very cold about it so what else wants to come out talk about two of swords in reverse talk about two of swords in reverse more pentacles, guys. More freaking pentacles. Talk about two of swords in reverse for Pisces for the first half of December. Jesus Christ. Seven of pence in reverse, four of pence in reverse, and the king of cups in reverse. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty selfish individual right there. Again, male or female doesn't matter. Um, someone's not good with money. Like someone spends a lot of money. They don't know how to invest. This is someone who doesn't know how to invest and ends up spending a lot of money. A little impulsive. A little impulsive. They like the nicer things. They're not practical. They're not practical. Whether you work with this person or you actually share finances with them, like in a home situation. And it's fucking with your stability. It's fucking with your legacy. Overall energy. Yeah, look. See, nine of pence in a verse. Wow. With the nine of cups in a verse and the tower. There, there it is. There, there, there it is, Pisces. I mean, that, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Look at that. The Nine of Cups universe and the Nine of Pence universe. That's a lot of overindulgence and a lot of instability. Someone could also use money to burn. Uh, whoa. I was going to say purchase, but I was going to say burn. Maybe burn through money, burn through credit cards to make themselves feel good. They might even like to party a lot. The Tower of the Ace of Cups universe and the Page of Wands. That's the realization of, yeah, I need. I can't do this anymore. I have to stop giving to this person, these people, and start giving back to myself. That tower is the realization of that, okay? For those of you where there's, there's not a money issue, it's really strong, though. This money issue is really, really strong. It's a greedy-ass person or people. 
that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, for those where it's not about money, I'm like, no, it's money. <laughs> like, no, it's money. It definitely feels like money. Um, no, it's money. It's money. It's money. There's no way of not seeing that. It's money. Your intuition's probably been telling you this for a little while now. Yeah, I'm like, is there any way that I keep asking them, like, is there any way this is not money? No. <laughs> no. Oh, that's really okay. Wow, Pisces. Oh, so let's look at the Ten of Pentacles hanging in the balance here. I'm gonna use cosmic for this one. Play with the Ten of Pentacles. Play with the Ten of Pentacles. Play with the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces for the first half of December. Play with the Ten of Pentacles. They keep bringing me back to this like court issue or settlement or legal issue. Yeah, if you're getting a divorce, I think they're going to try to take what, as much as they can from you. They're going to try. They're really going to try. But even if you lose a good chunk, you're going to recoup it. You're going to be surprised. You're going to recoup it. Play with the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces for the first half of December. I also feel like for those in the divorce group, you have unhooked yourself from this person. But like lawsuit, all that, whatever the court proceedings are, have been kind of dragged out or put off. Yeah, for those like specifically where there's a court issue involved where you're afraid of losing money, like that one specifically, that scenario specifically, you've already energetically let this person go. So I'm but they're trying, they're, it's like, oh, I don't like them. They're trying to keep you hooked just because they like having that control. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel powerful. Time of the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces for the first half of December. Wow. Pick it up. <laughs> Princess of Swords in a verse, equivalent to the Page of Swords in a verse. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say clear, to see clearly. Hangman in a verse, Piscean energy. Yeah, you're waking up to how bad this really is. Like, as you start, if you go close to that threshold, for those who are not in that whole legal situation, if you get close to that threshold, you're going to start to really see, like, oh, this is bad. Like, oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. I really do need to get out of this or deal with this. So I'm about the Ten of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Talking about Ten of Pentacles. And like I said, for some of you, it's actually been keeping you from a divinely guided connection, dealing with this person or people. Yeah, you're realizing it's costing you something amazing. You're realizing it's costing you something amazing. The, yeah, the longer you wait to cross that threshold or the more like the court proceedings get dragged out, you're realizing you're really losing out on a, an amazing uh, connection here for some of you. Talking about Ten of Pentacles. Take that as confirmation. Talking about the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces for the first half of December. Talking about the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces for the first half of December. Oh, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So now we have a Queen of Wands with a Princess of Pentacles. If this is someone that you are have a family with, um, you definitely have a child, at least one, maybe even two. Um, like if, if you're married to this person is what I meant to say. It's like, oh, well, if you have a family, duh, then you have a child, right? <laughs> well, I guess families don't have to mean you have children. It can mean you have a lot of pets. But yeah, if, if this is definitely, um, if this is like a divorce proceedings or, or whatnot, I, I feel um, a lot of like feminine energy with the children. So it's like, it's most likely a daughter that you have or a very feminine uh, boy. But Pisces, I, I feel like you're you're really catching on to like shit. Like this is not fucking good. Like this is really bad. Um, you're realizing how manipulative and how controlling someone really is. Like you knew, but you didn't really know. 
especially when it comes to money. I mean, look at this combo. Look at that. Male or female, it doesn't matter. We don't read gender here. We, we read energies, right? Pisces, I feel like this is what you've been dealing with. Like someone who's very ugh, uh, jealous, very envious, someone who only think, who really only thinks about money. I just get a lot of money, 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 money. Overall energy, 10 of wands, that burden, the burden that you're dropping. Sag energy, oh yeah, so you're dropping it. The fool with the nine of wands, you're very persistent in dropping this. It's like you wake up, you start smelling the coffee. Yeah, you wake up and you start smelling the coffee. And like, guys, I really can't hit home enough because I feel like you guys are going like, well, I don't know a female like that. And I don't know a male like that. It's energy. It's not gender. This could be a man. This could be a woman. They could both be men. They could both be women. It's up to you to, to know if it's resonating with you or not. It's just the energies that they're harnessing here, okay? But yeah, this person's very, very controlling. And for a lot of you, it's because of money, whether you work with them or you're in a relationship with them. Either way, this hook of keeping you of keeping you where this shit has been like from crossing the threshold has actually been keeping you from a divinely guided connection for some of you for some of you not for all of you and you're gonna when you get closer to that threshold you're gonna start waking up and smelling the coffee like shit this is really fucking bad like i really need my legacy to be intact i need to start thinking straight and making really balanced decisions here on how to handle this person okay and especially for those of you who have a child or children with this person but you're gonna you're gonna be strong in doing it look at that you're gonna be really strong in doing it Wow. Oh, Pisces, I'm tired now. <laughs> oh, I'm tired now. Okay, but let's pull some advice. I've been digging on the goddess deck lately, so let's go ahead and do it. Plus, this is like, you know, the second to last um, reading by the sign <laughs> that I'm doing. Uh, I'm, st I'm still doing the birthday readings. I, I was reading comments last night. And I was like, oh, no, people are still confused. I don't know how, how much more clear I can be. I might try again. But if I try again, it's going to be the last time. Anyway, uh, show me the energies for my Pisceans to harness regarding this spread. What's the best energies for my Pisceans to harness regarding this spread? Yeah, you got to cross that threshold, Pisces. Could be a Piscean Aries Cusper too, by the way. Or Aqua. We had Aqua come out a little bit here. What energy is best for my Pisceans to harness regarding this spread? And and by the way, it's a goddess deck, but my men's, you can, you know, take the advice too. You can harness that energy too if you want. What energy should my Pisceans harness regarding this spread? Come on. Oh, Pele. Oh, I like it. Divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What's in your heart's true desire, Pisces? What's in your heart's true desire to cross that threshold? Shit, I can tell you that. <laughs> Especially for those who have a divinely guided connection on the other end, right? What energy should my Piscean harness regarding this spread? I love Pele. Oh, that's it. On the bottom, we've got, ooh, I don't know how to say this. Huh? Irene? I guess that'd be Irene. Irene, peace. There is no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. Well, you might panic a little bit when you realize how bad it is. I think that's why that card is here. You might panic a little bit. All right. Where's that book? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to read these in alphabetical order. I'm going to start with Irene. E. Yeah. Okay. Irene, peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully, even though appearances may seem chaotic. I assure you that a higher plan is in action. This is all loving power and caring and supporting you completely. Relax into the arms of divine love and breathe away all cares, concerns, and worries. Put your focus into enjoying and appreciating each blessing. Your gratitude helps you attract even more blessings into your life. Give your cares and worries to heaven. Pray meditate, engage in peace enhancing activities such as yoga, sea bath salts, massage, naps, music, playfulness, and the like. Irene is a Greek goddess whose sisters include the goddesses of lawfulness and justice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Irene brings peacefulness to all who call upon her. The Romans referred to her as Pax, which means peace. Irene 
helps us replace worry with faith. She also reminds us to retain our childlike awe and enthusiasm for life. Oh, I like that. I think you're going to need some of that when you realize how bad it is. Like, oh, shit. Like, no, I do need to take care of this. Like, I need to take care of this shit now. Pele. Divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What's in your heart's true desire? If you listen to the sound of your heart and breathe, you'll recognize the ancient rhythms of your own internal drumming. This forever connects you to the mother of all creation and to the sound of the planet Earth. These rhythms can't be faked or forged. They're natural and eternal. <clears throat> What part of you are you trying to ignore? What part of you has been overly concerned with pleasing others to the detriment of hearing the sound of your own rhythm? Ooh, dear child, reach out and extend your arms to embrace your dreams. There's just as much a part of nature as the trees, animals, and sunsets. Don't your own dreams deserve the same respect that you accord every accord everyone and everything you love? Listen to them, my child. Listen to your dreams. They'll activate the power. Hold on. They'll activate the powerful eruption of passion in your life. Don't be afraid of your own passion for it will propel you naturally and it will excite and invigorate you. When you dance to the, rhythm, dance to the rhythms of your life, you're truly alive in all ways. Make sure your career, whoa, matches your true interests. Like I said, for some of you, this is definitely just sheer work, right? <clears throat> Take a class or start a hobby that really excites you. Change jobs, go on a wonderful trip. Invest, what did I say? Take a little vacay, by <laughs> Uh Invest time and money in manifesting your dreams. Give yourself permission to go for it. Start a new business. Make an honest assessment of how you spend your time. I almost wanted to say in money there, but I feel like it's the other person who's really not practical. List your priorities. The Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes. Pele's dynamic strength is sometimes misunderstood. She shows us that fire can purify, release, re release us from the old to make way for the new. Pisces, cross that threshold and ignite your passions. Without fire, nothing would change. Call upon Pele to help you get in touch with your true passion and to change up your motivation and excitement. Pele will help you feel everything on a deeper level. So be unafraid of taking action to manifest your heart's desire. Nice. Very nice, Pisces. Okay, let's do the spirit animal deck and then we'll wrap this up. I might change after this. <laughs> Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? 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 Ooh, very nice. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. And do you notice it's a cyclical energy? Crossing that threshold will bring you the sun and your ten of pentacles. You will be okay. You'll be fine, Pisces, as long as you do it. As long as you do it. And for those where this is more of a court case situation, you will recoup what you've lost, okay? Universe is on your side there. Um, but for those where it's about getting away from people or a person, whether it's within work, someone you own a business with, or someone you're in a relationship with, they're controlling, they're manipulative. Um, and honestly, it seems like money is at the core of it or resources is at the core of it. Pentacles could also mean your energy. They could be quite the energy vamp, okay? I just heard title. Someone someone likes the title. I don't know what that's about. All right. Mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. 40 breaking down to four. Tend to it. Don't ignore it. Pay attention to it. I also feel like if you look back with this person or people, because for some it's a group of people who've been, I almost feel like clout. They like your clout. That's only going to be for a few of you. Um, it's the things they've said or like the way they've acted. It's the little things. Remember what I was saying before with that a little download I got about like the, the money thing where it's like they kind of gloss over shit. Like pay attention to that. Like what are they glossing over with you? Hmm? Uh, what are they really asking you for? How are they asking you for it? You know, it's it's the little behaviors, the little ways they go about things. That's really going to tell you the, tell you a lot. And take care of yourself. I'm hearing take care of yourself. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread for the first half of December? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Wow, it's been coming up for a lot for everybody. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? 
grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith 30 breaking down to a three this is my full card be the full take a risk go for it and jump jump leap over that threshold oh yeah and see overall energy groundhog spirit time to let it go let it go it's for your own good it's for your own stability again that applies more so to people who really just need to like cut this person or people out of their life and go solo for a little while um others where it's you know you're just in that unfortunate court case settlement lawsuit divorce situation it is being let go of be patient remember even if you lose a lot it, you're gonna get it back you're gonna get it back okay all right, Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed that or at least found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram. Instagram posts will resume in 2020. Uh, for Vimeo, it's the partner readings and monthlies. I don't do extendeds. Patreon, it will be the monthly readings um, and, the pa and the partner readings for monthly membership. Um, and then changes to the Patreon for 2020 are, are posted up on there. Okay? All right, guys, take care. I'll see you later. And I'm going to get started on the, the last batch of the bi-weeklies, okay? All right, guys, have a good night. Namaste.